when you are on fire don't brag that you can pray for four hours when you are on fire don't brag the way your body is shaped when you are praying that does not profit you that is childishness how many 40 year old ministers or 50 year old Christians do you see praying like this it happens once in a while depending on where you have entered because every realm you enter in the spirit has an impact on you there's a realm you enter you start laughing you can't control it no matter what you do but you can't laugh every day you are praying there's a realm you enter you start crying you can't control it but you can't cry every day you are praying there's a realm you enter you start shouting like a madman but you can't shout every day you are praying there's a realm you enter the intensity there will burn you so much that it will squeeze you but you can't be squeezed every day you are praying there's a realm you enter you can't stand you will run but you can't be running every day you are praying so when you find a mature believer he doesn't hold the posture he finds the realm it's the realm that determines the operation young people won't like it because they enjoy what they are doing you continue like that after 10 years you will know the difference hope you know we didn't appear here there were people we prayed with and we saw the many caricature they did now they are coming to ask how did you do it because when they should learn how it is done they were wasting their time looking for human applause because young people love gymnastics and so when you are doing it they say this is a man this is the man so when you are looking for fire or when you have fire don't pursue things that don't have value test your fire to the degree that is able to shift demonic influence when you come to a place censor that place and find out what the impact of your presence has there when you have fire check the weight that your prayer commands i will not pray for six hours and i don't see a vision it doesn't engender transformation and it doesn't change anything that's why many people pray brings a deaf person they become humble because their prayer only has weight in time it doesn't have weight in impact that's why you go to many houses of prayer people's destinies are wrecked the teaching ministries that look weak they are the ones that make men because the prayer oftentimes is corrupt by human emotion go and find most of the generous and most of the places where great things are happening they sit them down and teach them truth so whatever they are doing they are doing it from the place of understanding I'm not against any of those things I do all of them happen to me and they happen to the people I raise and train some of us are the greatest advocates of prayer but we don't want you to do it wrongly because destinies are at stake don't do what you enjoy do what is right because your destiny does not depend on what you enjoy it depends on what is right and so when you contact fire you are able to bring government because you can dislodge princes when you contact fire your priesthood can create impact when you contact fire you have received an inheritance and over time it will show when you receive an inheritance in bsu here a point will come everybody will know that you are a man of god and for those of you who are not in ministry it will affect your results your academics it will affect the level of favor on your life and then when you come out of the university that thing will make you stand out it's an inheritance and you will not only stand out anybody you make contact with it will rub off on him that is the proof that something supernatural is at work in your life you can't be struggling and i keep making contact with you and it doesn't affect your status in society you can't be seeking God and I keep making contact with you and it doesn't affect the authority of God on your life. It means what I'm doing is drama. Because when you come around men like David that had fire, 400 broken men can become warriors. Because there is something supernatural there. There is an inheritance that has been received. And finally, when you have fire, you can bring witness. Now, how do you contact fire? I have 15 more minutes. Maybe we'll use 5 minutes for this ceremony number one so what we will do is that myself and reverend we plan a massive apostolic invasion on this campus 
where we can be around for three days. Because what's happening here now is like putting me in a box. I'm, I'm trapped. Now I'm trapped. There, there are places I can ascend to, but I can't teach. And I don't have the luxury of time. So we will do a three days or four days conference. We will sit here. We will sit down here. Somebody was asking me, he said, you are going everywhere. Why are you not remembering Benue? I said, I'm not sent yet. I'm not sent. There are people there. When God sends me there, then I will come. But now, I think is the time. <laughs> so sometime around February, March, we will come here. We will come here. So we will give the Holy Ghost liberty. Now I'm even constraining the Holy Spirit. Because there are pathways he wants to navigate. But time is limiting us. How far can we journey this morning? We can't. When we are, we are trapped in time. This one I said now, two minutes have gone. How do you contact fire? Number one. Become a sacrifice. Every time a sacrifice is placed on the altar, the fire falls. These are auto mechanisms of the spirit. And this is most important than what we will do here this morning. When you find men that are always on fire, it's because they are living sacrifices. You can contact fire and lose it. But when you become a sacrifice, you are burning all your life. So the secret of being on fire unending is to become a sacrifice. Because God responds to sacrifices by fire. Let me show you a few scriptures. 1 Kings 18 verse 38 Everything that was happening God was not moved Until the sacrifice was placed on the altar The moment Elijah Placed the sacrifice on the altar The Bible said the fire of God Fell and Consumed it God responds to sacrifice But God's response to sacrifice Is in the similitude Of fire And so when you find the man burning That man is a sacrifice before you desire the fire be ready to pay the price it takes sacrifice to contact fire if there is no sacrifice there can never be fire on your life many people think fire is a gift there are many gifts of the spirit fire is not one of them fire only responds to sacrifice and until a man becomes a sacrifice he can never see the fire of god in leviticus chapter 9 verse 24 the same thing happened replete in a replica fashion the moment sacrifice came on the altar fire descended in first chronicles 21 because god will separate it unto himself the moment you present your body as a sacrifice god makes that body holy and the way god makes it holy is to put his fire upon it and so that body can no longer carry out any function except to the glorification of god and so when you find the man burning the secret of his ever increasing intensity is sacrifice. You can follow us on all our social media handles at Flaming Channel. Also visit us at www.flamingchannel.com. Thank you.